favorite video of the entire season, arguably of the whole year. It is here, spring shoes. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Oh, y'all, this is seriously, it's one of my favorite videos to film every single year because if you have ever seen my shoe wall, you know that like shoes are my favorite thing to buy. I just, I think they make such a difference in your wardrobe and a simple change in a pair of shoes can really change up an entire look, a whole vibe. I love them and I actually, like I, I wouldn't say I'm a shoe collector, but I take really good care of my shoes, whether they are extremely expensive or dirt cheap. Like I take care of my shoes so they last a really long time. And so I've got some shoes here that have been so good for a couple seasons now. They're still looking like they're going to be a hot item for 2022, and we are going to talk about it all in today's video. Everything I'm talking about, including sizing information, is going to be linked in the description bar below for you guys to shop, so you can check it out down there. While you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the YouTube fam. And by the way, baby boy did finally drop, but he is still very big, so he's like up in my ribs, so if I'm out of breath, I'm very sorry in this video, but we're just going to power through, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna share a wide variety of shoes here with you guys. I don't want you to feel like you need every single pair of shoes that I'm gonna mention in this video. That would be insane. Like I said, I take very good care of my stuff and have really built up my shoe like pile for the last like two, three, four years. So you do not need everything. Basically the main takeaway from this video I want you to get is get a good pair of sandals, a good pair of heels, and a good pair of sneakers, and you will be good to go. Anything beyond that is just extra. So I want to start out with heels. So first and foremost, the It Shoe from Target this year. I went to my Target today. Oh, there is literally already animal hair on the bottom. I went to Target today and they had these shoes. Actually, I was very surprised. It looked at it as if they had just stocked all of their shoes. Um, and they had these in like every single color. And when I bought these and I shared them on my Instagram that I was buying them, you guys messaged me like crazy and were like, they are so comfortable. You're going to love them. I've worn them for hours and hours. One girl said um, she like stands at her church and like helps give out programs and stuff And she said she wore these um, like two Sundays in a row and they were just like the most comfortable shoe the whole time She was standing so they're just really good pair of shoes and they are Overwhelmingly comfortable like to be so affordable and so cute and so stylish like they just are really comfortable So I did size up half a size to a 10 in these and I did get the brown they have a ton of colors um, But I wanted to kind of go with a nude neutral you will see here like I literally think I have maybe four pairs of shoes that aren't like a nude color because again if you're wanting to just get like basic shoes nudes are definitely kind of the way to go because you can style them with a bunch of different stuff so I did get like this nude color but these are very comfortable a somewhat reasonable heel height um, good quality especially for the price like insane quality for the price and they look good with a ton of different stuff so I am loving these heels this year they are very on trend very in season and you can get them in just like a million colors. Now, I am someone who believes closed-toed shoes during the fall time, open-toed shoes during the spring and summertime, no matter what, um, to work, to church, address the event, it does not matter. So I always look forward to a time when I can wear open-toed shoes. So these are from A New Day and they are dirty. I am so sorry. They are like just gross because this is year... Okay, so actually... By the end of this year, like by the end of this spring and summer season, this will be my fourth summer and spring with these shoes. These are the shoes that I wear when I'm in weddings. Um, anytime I've been a bridesmaid, anytime I'm attending a wedding in the summertime, these are my preference just because of the really good heel height. These are lower than some of the others that I have. The strap on them is comfortable. They do come in a wide size and I have pretty normal feet. Not wide, not narrow, but I would say the wide is like definitely more comfortable. My black ones that I have are not in the wide and they are not as comfortable. Um, so I would say no matter what, definitely get the wide in these, but I went up half a size to a 10 and they just fit perfect. They're comfy. They're simple. They are the best bridesmaid shoes out there and they're really affordable. Now, if you are looking for a dressier open-toed shoe that has a little bit of a higher heel height than these Sam Edelman shoes, I guess I'm going to only hold one. That probably would be better, are going to be your best option. They are so flattering on. Again, 
like just dirty because I have had these also for when I complete the spring and summer season. It will be my fourth spring and summer with these. You can get these with a straight across strap or this strap right here. You can get these in leather. You can get them in the suede. Um, it does not matter. They are all very comfortable. And I believe that this one particular heel, it's very odd. So I think there are like two or three colors that are named different things but they're all this same shade and I'm not quite sure why, but I just have seen them like, I think one time it was Nordstrom Rack that had this shoe listed and it was two separate colors and I had seen both colors in person and they were identical. So it doesn't really matter what kind of nude you get, but these are definitely like prettier I think in nude and they are a higher heel height than the Target ones. These heels I have shared a ton with you guys. They are from the Drop Collection. I only got these last summer and I fell in love with them. I have them in gold, snakeskin, this color. My mom actually got them in purple for my brother's wedding, and my mom does not do heels, like, at all ever for any reason. And so the fact that she was able to wear these for a very long period of time and they weren't uncomfortable, she didn't trip or fall, felt like they were gonna fall off of her feet. Y'all, she loves these heels. They are from the Drop Collection, so I find that stock with these is hit or miss. If you can find them though in your true size, get them immediately. I love these so much. And again, they are a higher heel height. I know that's not for everybody, but if you are into this high heel height, then definitely grab these and don't worry, they are not uncomfortable. I've worn these for I think my longest stretch I wore these for recently it was about about four and a half five five and a half hours um, and I was 30 30 weeks pregnant and they were super super comfortable so I love these heels um, and again they're just like a good nude color but I do also have them in the gold and snake skin just for a little extra pop now I love mules but I personally prefer them in the fall time. I just think they're a lot more comfortable in the fall time. And I also am someone who I do not like to wear shoes at all that are closed toed without wearing socks. And I know you can't do that with mules. Um, I obviously like don't do that with like closed toed high heels, but like anything else, I just, if it's closed toed, I prefer a sock. So I don't usually gravitate towards mules during the spring and summer, but this year I actually found two gorgeous pairs that I love and I'm really, really excited to wear. So I got these from Nine West. Um, I did, this is the first time that Nordstrom size chart has failed me. The Nordstrom size chart said to get a nine and a half, like my true size. And I did, and they were way too small. So I got them in the 10, exchanged them, and they fit perfect. These are a pink suede with the pearl detail. I believe you can also get a leather. Um, I know they have like a brown option. I think they do have some colors, but I think that this like really pretty subtle ballerina pink is going to be great for the springtime. And I love Love, love the pearl detail. It's just like that perfect little amount of like dressiness to it um, while still looking, you know, subtle enough that you could wear these to work. And then these. So these are different from like any pair of shoes I've ever owned. And I saw these. They're Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman and Steve Madden are my top two favorite shoe designers of life because their shoes are really comfortable and a decent price. And they last for so, 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 so long. So when I saw these, I was like, okay, that mustard yellow color is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'm gonna do it. And when they came in, I was like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I've told you guys in my spring 2022 trends video, like this color, we are seeing yellow this year. I feel like more than I've seen it in years past. So this color is very on trend. They do have this in a you know few other colors, but I just feel like this is such a fun, unique mule. It's comfortable. I get my true size nine and a half and everything Sam Edelman makes, whether it's boots, booties, sandals, or mules, it does not matter. The rhinestone detail on the top is just so so nice and it is just like finally I'm able to wear these now and I love them like the color is just so fun and different from anything else that I have in my closet so these are really the only two pairs of mules that I'm gonna be wearing this year um, I know that some people do you know prefer to wear mules more this time of year but if it's up to me I'm either gonna wear an open-toed heel um, a sandal and then mules would be like at the lower end of that but love those golden yellow ones Okay, sneakers. So 
when I say sneakers, I don't mean workout shoes. I think those are a given and you honestly need to research what is comfortable for what you are actually doing. Like there are different sneakers needed for running than what you need for, you know, maybe if you're just like a continuous gym person. Um, you definitely need two different kinds of shoes for that. Like running, you may need a lighter shoe. When I say sneakers, I strictly am talking about a sneaker that is worn for like fashion purposes only. And I'm going to be honest here and say that I think you can never fail with a pair of white sneakers. Um, I personally don't love black shoes. I don't have a ton of black shoes. I have one, two, three pairs of solid black shoes. Everything else is either nude or white because black shoes and even sometimes really colorful shoes can cut off your legs and make you look super, super short. It's just not appealing to me. So definitely this time of year, I feel like white shoes are the way to go. And also I love that sneakers are now more acceptable with like any outfit. You can wear sneakers. I wore it today with a dress. Um, you can wear it with skirts. I mean, sneakers go with everything now and I love it. So when I do say also white, I mean... 80 to 85% of the shoe I think needs to be a white, like solid white, and then you're good to go. But for me, you won't find me ever wearing like black sneakers. You'll never find me wearing like really, really colorful sneakers because they are still kind of tricky to style. White's easy to style and just looks good. I also want to start out by saying you can get any pair of white sneakers that you want. You do not need to pay an arm and a leg if you don't want to. Um, it's not necessary, but, and I get that every time I share like golden goose sneakers. So these are without a doubt my favorite most worn sneakers in my entire closet. They are the golden goose superstars um, and they are just the best and so, so comfy. I'd say these are way more than 85% white. They just have a simple like gold star on them and then gray laces. You can go with any kind of white sneakers you want again but for me I really like these because they're just easy to throw on they go with dresses skirts jeans leggings bike shorts everything and they're just really really comfortable um I do size down half a size in these so I got a 39 and they fit perfect but I also have the golden goose pure stars now for a while I had said like I think you need to size down a half a size in these as well but one of my girlfriends who has a pair of pure stars has the same size foot as me and she bought a pair in her true size she didn't size down half and I actually like the way this fit a little bit better so these are still very very comfortable but I do think with the pure stars you probably need to get your true size the one question I get on YouTube every single time I share that I have both both pure stars and superstars are which is more comfortable so honestly Pure stars, hands down, 100%, not even like match, which is crazy because these shoes are so comfy, but I just feel like these are even better. Um, and then a preference, honestly, it just goes on whether you like the dirty look or not. I don't care if it's, you know, has that dirty appearance to it. Um, for me, I find that I actually don't baby these shoes at all. And these I do still baby and clean and make sure they look, you know, neat and tidy. Um, but if you're going to go based off of comfort, I would say it's these, but apart from that, I have talked a lot about just like the benefits of Golden Goose. I will link that um, blog post in the description bar below for you guys to read. I kind of talked about the pros and cons of them and just why I really love them. Are they worth the price? White sneakers for spring are a must have. If you want a pair of white sneakers that are designer but not the price of the Golden Goose, I highly highly encourage you to go with the beiges. So I have been honest with you guys at this point. I solely bought the beiges because they have velcro straps and like laces are not my friend right now it's just so hard to put shoes on and so the velcro strap makes it easy and these are equally comfortable i would have to say if we're gonna go because we're i'm talking a lot about comfort here because that is really what was the driving factor in me purchasing the golden goose um was just how much i heard over and over and over again people rave about how comfortable they are and like I wore my Golden Goose, um, I think we traveled, the total travel day was about 14 hours uh, when we went to Jamaica last year, just from like the moment we got up to the airport, to flying, to getting there, to taking the shoes out, everything. And they were just so comfy all day. I would say if we're gonna go comfort level, um, Pure Stars, Superstars, and then the Vejas. But if we're looking price-wise, I definitely think Veja is the much more obviously affordable um, option. They are still about, I see, 
a hundred plus dollars, um, but they're not outrageously overwhelmingly expensive like Golden Goose. So they do have regular laced beiges you can get, like ones with the black V. I just got the taupe because I think it's easy. Um, and again, just like, I can't say this enough. The whole point to this is just to show you guys like three different pairs of white shoes, depending on what your style may be. But white sneakers, any white sneakers, you are gonna be good to go. Sandals. I cannot say this enough. You guys, you don't need this many sandals. I have purchased some of these and had them for years. I mean, years. And I love them and that's why I'm including them. And like I keep saying, I share a bunch of different sandals because you may not like this one kind of style but love this kind or you may wanna spend this much on them, not this much. So please don't feel overwhelmed by this. These Kel Parker sandals were a hot item last spring and summer. They were so hard to get your hands on. So if you can get these in your size, get them. I went up a size to a 10 or half a size to a 10 in these. And these are truly a like dressier sandal. I saw a ton of people wearing these with sundresses. Um, like when they would wear like jeans and a really nice blouse, they would wear these. They're just like a step above your average sandal, but they were so hard to get your hands on. So I've only, I think maybe got these in July. I think it was like late July or August. It might've actually been August. I didn't get to wear them as much as I would have loved had I had them all summer long, but I did get to wear them a really decent amount. And these are true, like straight out the box, just so, so comfy. Um, and they match with a ton of stuff. So again, you're gonna see lots of nudes here. I just love the studded detail on these. They go with a lot of stuff. Um, just make sure you size up half a size in those. A true OG favorite like a true OG favorite. I absolutely adore these shoes. There will never be a pair of sandals. Like if you were to look at me right now and say you can only keep one pair of sandals in your closet, they need to go with everything. They need to be comfortable. Which pair of sandals would you keep? It would without hesitation be these. I went up half a size to a 10 in these and I purchased these in, I think it was February or early March, but I know it was 2019. So when I finish this season with them, it will be year number four. I got these in and I remember I took them to Savannah, Georgia for my girlfriend's bachelorette party. And I remember one of the girls there was like, you just got those in. Are you going to wear them all day when we were like traipsing downtown? And I was like, yes, I'm going to wear them all day. We're just going to, we're going to just run with it. And sure enough, I had absolutely no discomfort. And because they are leather, they just form to your feet and fit better and better and better the longer you wear them. I cannot say enough good things about these. I know that they have the ones that they came out with last year that have like the wider, thicker foot to them. I can't think of what they're called. I personally don't like those. I feel like they look like like, you know, an Adidas, like, athletic sandal. I feel like that's what it looks like, but just with the Tory Burch logo on it. And I feel like I also heard everyone talk about them. Like, bloggers were like, oh my god, these are the best shoes ever. And then I didn't see anybody wearing them. And I'm like, so are they the best? Or are they just new and on trend? Like, I just don't, I personally don't like them. I think these are the best because they're dressy or you can make them casual. Um, and I did still see everybody wearing these. These will never not be in style. So up half a size. Oh my gosh. I mean, these were my most desired sought after shoes for so long. When I finally just like pulled the trigger and was like, okay, I'm going to get the Tory Burch sandals. They have paid off every single time I wear them. I'm just like, yep. This is why these are the best. Another pair of amazing staple sandals that I am so, so glad I got my hands on last year were the Chloe sandals. Now these are of course a lot more expensive than some of the other ones. Um, I was not sure about these. I heard not mixed reviews as far as like comfort goes, but just mixed reviews of people who were like, oh my God, I love them. And then I got them in and I didn't wear them. And I was like, I don't wanna be one of those people. Like maybe I won't wear them, I don't know. And I actually wore these a lot. I feel like the actual logo on them kind of makes you be like, oh, they might be hard to style. But to me, they are very simple because they're just neutral. I got the white with black. You, If I was to get like the pink, I'd probably be like, oh, these are really hard to style. But sticking with neutral always makes it easier to style for me. And I wore these a last summer. Um, I did size up half a size to a 40 and they fit perfect. They are, I, I would not say they need much breaking in, but they do need some. Um, my, I, I said it once in this video, I am all about when new shoes come in, I, cause I wear bedroom slippers around my house. I put my shoes on and I'll clean. I'll put my shoes on and I'll just lounge around. I'll put my shoes on, I'll cook dinner. And so that can kind of let me break them in, but I'm still in my house. I can gauge and see if they're comfy on 
like a hardwood floor um, but I'm also not you know going out and just hoping and praying that I don't get a blister because I've learned the hard way that that is not that's not a fun way to break in shoes so these definitely I'd say took about an hour to at one to three hours to break in versus being just comfortable at the box but every time you wear them after they're broken in they just get more comfortable and more comfortable and more comfortable so very easy to style um, and then of course just great for spring and summer okay so flip-flops you need like literally the most basic simple pair of flip-flops I truly just believe that because they're just easy and I had a pair of black I actually still have them Haviana flip-flops and when I tell you guys I had bonded with those things and I loved them I loved them and I actually took them on my wedding day those were just like what I wore around the venue until it was time to get ready and then I kicked them off and I came home that night and I couldn't find them anywhere and I was like devastated well one because I didn't have them for my honeymoon but two I was just like those are like my favorite flip-flops like they're just Haviana flip-flops they're simple they're black they were affordable like what the heck I will still link those below for you guys I still wear those but they are very casual not dressy not at all like meant to be cute cue these I don't even know how to say these t-k-e-e -E. S. So I saw these last summer and what I loved is that you can get these in a variety of shades. They, I mean, they have tons of shoes on their website, but all of their shoes comes in different shades of nudes. So you can pick your nude shade based on truly being like nude to your skin. And I just thought that was so cool. And they are really, really comfortable. So these are actually, I mean, when I say dressy, I use that term very, very loosely, but these are definitely dressier than my plain black like rubber Haviana flip-flops that I did eventually find. Um, so I do like these if you want a flip-flop that's not just like black rubber, loud, you know, whatever. These are the way to go. Um, I think these are like really actually cute with jeans. I saw Caitlyn, she's Caitlyn Dorsch, but she's, I think all of her socials still say Caitlyn Covington. Um, she actually wore these to the airport with a pair of a Goldie jeans and like a t-shirt tucked into her um, jeans with these and it just looked like such a cute like classic outfit but it was still just like she's wearing flip-flops and a white t-shirt with jeans like it was just so easy but still really stylish so I can't believe I'm saying this but I like these flip-flops better than my Havianas. These I have mentioned a ton so I'm not going to talk about that like I feel like this is like my fourth or fifth video in a row where I'm like oh my god these Amazon sandals are the best but they are. I love these because I think they are just a little bit dressier than some of the other braided sandals I have in the past and I think that is because of the leather bottom to these. Y'all these are super super comfy and I actually am finding myself a lot like even today I was like I want to wear my sneakers but I really just think I should wear those like they're just good nude classic sandals braided detail nothing crazy about them the only thing that I don't love is I feel like is they're really really narrow and I just know that like if you have average feet like me they're fine but if you have even the slightest wide foot these aren't gonna work for you which kind of bums me out but I love these up a size half to a 10 I mean they are just they are so good I find myself like I've had those for a couple weeks I think at this point I can't quite remember and I'm always like I might just wear my Amazon sandals all right you guys Steve Madden sandal I talked about this in my spring essentials video and I finally got my hands on the target quote dupe you guys can very much so see the biggest difference in these two shoes and I'm gonna talk about them for a second here um, they don't have this shoe in any color as bright as this shoe is offered I was told these were dupes for these as far as like quality goes and up until today I was not able to get my hands on them I, I mean I literally got these today and they restocked so good news is they're the exact same quality as the Steve Madden. Bad news is they're the exact same quality as the Steve Madden. So his shoes are honestly the most comfortable. Like I truthfully just straight out the box, Steve Madden sandals, they're just, they're so comfy. And I size up half a size to a 10 in all of them. You can wear them for hours at a time. They are all like, for the most part, you know, leather. These are a very different kind of material this actually says on here on the bottom I'm reading it, it says all man-made material these are like you could wear these in the actual ocean in the lake and you ain't gonna have to worry about tearing these up I probably wouldn't do it just because of the price of these but they are definitely like you can wear them with a dress you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with leggings but I feel like the quality of these they were not meant to be those like leather sandals they're meant to be a little bit more durable which is an odd word to use to describe sandals durable yes but definitely have a significant break in time that 
that kind of bums me out because I don't love to have to break in shoes. I get it. Um, but I don't, you know, it is what it is. I actually had to size down half a size to a nine in these. That's the first time that ever happened. Nordstrom size chart did actually do good on that one. Told me I had to size down half and they fit perfect for these. From Target, I did go up half a size to a 10 and they fit perfect. I'm gonna be honest. I know that like everyone has their own style. I prefer these over these, especially if the quality is gonna be exactly the same. If these were more comfortable, I would say get the Target ones all day, every day. But I just think these are like a much more cool, like fun neon color for the summertime. And also I like that these have like those true stud detail to them while these are like a little bit more squared off. So to each its own, the price is definitely a big difference in these two, but if you're gonna go based off of quality, it is identical. I just think the look of these is better. The color of these is better um but I finally got my hands on the target shoe I'll keep them both I'll definitely probably wear them both but I was just very not expecting these to feel like this when they came in but the neons are in this year y'all they look so good with everything everything I'm seeing is bright and it just makes me so happy okay last two pair of sandals I know this video is long don't hate me but these from Target. So there are a couple different shoe designers that make these shoes. And I actually, one of my girlfriends who has the same size foot as me, um, I had tried hers on a couple weeks ago and I was like, dang, these are really, really comfortable. A New Day seems to be the line at Target that cannot do any wrong. That's those like heels that I've worn in all of the, um, Weddings I've been in, like those are from the A New Day and they last for so long. So finally snagged these in my size and I love the simple studs on them, but they're just a little bit elevated. You really can't go wrong with a pair of nude sandals. Like, do you get that at this point? I have a million pairs of them and I love them. I do like the crystal detail on these. It's like subtle, but it's still a little bit dressy um, and they're very, very comfy. There's absolutely zero break in time to these and they fit my very standard foot very well. Um, I feel like these might be a little bit snug on a wide foot, but if you have a narrow foot, you're probably fine. So I don't know. I definitely would recommend trying these on in store, but half a size up to a 10 in these. And I just think they are super, super comfy. I really like how many times can one person say the words super comfy in a video? That is like, that is so important to me. It is I will not forfeit comfort for style. I won't do it. And then the dressiest sandals of all. So these are obviously very hard to show you guys in my hands, which is why I have been doing the little clips over screen, but I love these. I think it was Alex Garza maybe that I saw by these. And it was a while back. I want to say it was like maybe last, last spring. And it might not have been these exact ones, but I do know that they were like Steve Madden and they have these little crystals all over them. And I was like, oh, I love them. And I couldn't find them in my size. So I finally got these in. And the one thing that made me nervous anything anytime I can like tie up a sandal myself it always makes me nervous because I'm like is it really going to be comfortable after I tie it or no and how this is actually really really comfortable and it stays tied for hours I was also afraid because there isn't any real closure on these sandals I was like I don't know if they're gonna like stay closed and so when these did come in I was actually wearing a really simple dress and I had to go to the grocery store so I put these on and I went to the grocery store I did my up half a size in Steve Madden like all my other sandals from his and I went to the grocery store and y'all they were so so comfy I just pulled them out of the box they stayed tied the whole time they just look like really really nice. So if you do want to wear a sandal, like maybe with a dressier dress, um, and you, you know, don't want to wear like a heel, these are going to be the option for you because I just keep like, I'm so fascinated with these. So I feel like if you want a dressier sandal and not like a more simple one that you can wear with jeans, like I feel probably wear these with jeans, but it would be, you would have to really strategically do it right. These are the sandals for you. I don't even want to count how many pairs of shoes that was. Like that was overwhelming. So please, like I have said, if you've made it this far, understand you do not need this many shoes. I have just bought these over the course of a couple years, a few years, and they last because I take care of them and they're just also like really good quality shoes. Like I just, I love buying shoes. It's, it's a problem. It really is. So a good pair of sandals, a good pair of heels, a good pair of sneakers. You're going to be set for spring and summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. I love you guys so much and I hope that I see you in my next video.